What's up, guys, and welcome to the brand new update in Fortnite. The first SMG is officially in the game. And in case you're wondering, it actually replaced a weapon. I said this in my video. I feel like it's going to replace a weapon or it's going to get a weapon vaulted. And well, it got the SMG suppressor suppressed SMG bolted there is no more suppressed smg that is actually kind of crazy i feel like they should have vaulted the drum gun <laughs> but you know that's not gonna happen because it was picked by the community and i just i don't think they do that so quickly just yet this game would have been a completely different game like think about it if the vaulting event didn't happen this game would have been extremely extremely different like it would have just been a completely different game let's say the vault event did happen but the drum gun didn't get picked. Let's say the uh, attack SMG got picked. Think about how different this game would be right now. Because the drum gun is really the issue here. <laughs> you know, I don't really have a problem with it, but it kind of is somewhat of an issue. Because if we had the attack SMG and then we had the burst SMG, then I, I think it would, would be okay. It wouldn't be that bad. But, um, oh, speak of the devil. Here's the burst. Okay. I honestly don't see a point on an SMG being burst. Like, it just makes zero sense to me. I mean, maybe it's good. Who knows? I've been hearing that it's not, but maybe it is. I'll be honest. I think it's one of the coolest looking weapons um, that we've had. But it's not really about looks, man. It's about how you can function. A lot of people are pretty much complaining because it's not, like, really accurate. And um, some, are, some are actually saying the damage is not enough, which, I mean... I'd rather have a weapon like this than have an SMG that does a lot of damage. You know, if I'm being completely just flat out transparent with you, I'd rather not have a very OP SMG. I'm not a fan of the spray and pray. And that's the only reason why they did it. Like, this is the only reason why we have this sort of weapon now. Because, well, nobody wants to spray and pray, man. By the way, I'm playing Team Rumble, if you haven't noticed. Okay, I'm, I'm actually playing Team Rumble because, well... I don't want to be here for 30 hours trying to find a damn weapon. I really don't want to. And I have so many things to do today. It'd be silly not to do Team Rumble when a new weapon comes out. I mean, think about it. You find weapons everywhere. You die, you didn't find a weapon. Good. Just stay there. You're going to respawn. It would be literally dumb for me to play something else. There we go. Finally. 10 minutes to find a regular shotgun, dude. Oh, we found a purple. Let's try out this weapon, shall we? Okay. Well, that wasn't half bad. <laughs> See, the thing about this weapon is that it's supposed to be accurate. You know? Okay, you just totally took my kill there, bro. I should have tried the burst on that one. I should have tried it for long range. That was kind of like a medium long range shot. Okay, he's over there on top of the tree. He does not have 100% accuracy. Wow. Wow. That is bad from afar. Lesson number one, do not use the gun from far. Even that, look at that. That's kind of whack. I mean, if you hit your shot up close, it freaking melts. I mean, one burst can actually hit for like 60, 80 plus, which is not a bad thing at all. But look from far, look at this. That's ridiculous. It's definitely an SMG that you want to use from far. All right. Sorry, I should have used the SMG there. This is all about the SMG. I need to reload. What? Jesus Christ. Come on, guys. It's a lot of action here. A little bit too quick, you know? I need to warm up the engines. I literally just woke up, got on, logged in. No, you guys uh, you guys like to start early, I see. I don't know, man. It's actually pretty OP from up close, but like really shitty from far or even medium range. It's kind of like polar opposites. There's, it, It's literally a black and white weapon. And a black and white weapon is pretty much that weapon that it's either good or it's bad. And I got him. <laughs> it's kind of weird because you would expect the burst would be good from like, you know, decent range because it's a burst weapon. You know, it shoots, and then it recenters itself. But no, not this SMG. Oh, look. Somebody's got a drum gun. Definitely better than the burst. I still feel like people are actually just going to spam the drum gun now even more. By the way, I also realized there's only 24 bullets <laughs> in the magazine. 
How you doing there, bud? Oh, look at this. Look at that. Okay, great. Awesome. Great success. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Me personally, I don't know. Maybe maybe because it's Team Rumble. I don't know. <laughs> maybe when you're in a solo and you have all the sweats sweating around, then maybe it's a different case. If you don't hit all your bullets, then you could probably be in a pretty shitty spot. Like that. You know, it's kind of funny to me that they took out the uh, pump shotgun because everybody was spamming it too much, but... You're pretty much going to have the same thing now with this burst SMG. Nobody's going to really use this over a freaking shotgun unless they have a drum gun. So it's kind of like, okay. I don't know. I guess we'll have to see how, how the game plays out in a way. If you hit all your bullets in the head, it's a one shot or one burst kill. That was actually pretty, 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 pretty good. All right, here we go. Let's see. All right, so if you missed or you hit him below the waist, maybe two bursts will kill kill the enemy. That's what it looks like there. It's actually not even that bad. The more you use it, I still don't you. God damn it! Who the fuck's got them stupid explosive bows? I still don't uh, recommend it over like a drum gun or just a fully automatic SMG, it's obviously not going to be better. But if you're an accurate player, I feel like hitting just two bursts on, like full on, will do a lot of damage. But don't even think about using this from like anywhere that's not close, like close range. It is absolute garbage. 19 damage and nine damage is what I've gotten from like medium range and then long range. It's been really really bad and i just okay i don't know from what you're seeing what do you what do you guys think got him thank you this guy's definitely a bot <laughs> he's just standing there shut up man what are you doing here we go, landing on this individual in the head. See? Dome shots are where it's at. You gotta hit the head, man. You gotta kill the snake by ripping off the head. Ooh, 42 damage for the head? Eh, it's not that bad. And he just killed himself. What a... <laughs> Do you see why? Do you see why we individuals... Look at this guy. He literally just landed on the trap. Yeah, man, it's, it's, it actually melts people up close. The more that I use it, and it's just, you literally have to be really close. But then again, you have to think to yourself, even though it's melting people, we're doing a pretty decent job for what it is as a burst. Is it still better than just an all automatic weapon? Like, look at this. 19, 27 for the head. That's pretty low, man. You know what I mean? That is pretty freaking low. I want to get one more with this. There we go. Okay. Not too shabby. I'm still indecisive. Very indecisive. I don't know. I'd rather just rock a shotgun and do 117 damage like that. I guess once you start seeing people play with it and see what you can actually do with it, because for some particular reason, whenever people play with guns, they, they tend to find like certain fucking tricks that are extremely crazy. And they're like, okay, so maybe this weapon is useful in this manner or in this scenario. Who knows? I mean, that's why you watch people play online because they come up with a lot of crazy stuff. I feel like if this weapon had like a legendary, it, it'd be extremely crazy. But the fact that it does not have a legendary, it's a green and a blue at most, it's... It balances that out. And even that, for it being what it is, up close hitting shots will actually do a lot of damage. I mean, you technically only have to hit one burst to do like 60 plus damage. Anyways, there you have it. This is the brand new burst SMG in the game. I still feel like I need a little bit more time with it to see its weaknesses and its strengths or whatnot. Uh, but it's actually pretty good. Like, it's, it's better than I thought it was going to be. So you have... Oh, I just figured out that if you can hold it... You don't have to tap it. You can literally just hold it. I didn't even know that.
One more thing that probably doesn't really matter, uh, but just so you know, since you have 24 bullets and it shoots four bullets per per burst, you can shoot it six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it runs out of ammo really fast. Like, that's really fast. Like, wow, that felt really fast. Anyways, there you have it. Let me know what you think. Is it good? Is it bad? Based on what I played and how it felt to me, it's actually pretty decent. Now, that could change a whole lot within the next couple of days. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, if you did, please leave it a like. It only takes one second, and it helps me out. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you later.